In this video, we want to show you the five key traits your LinkedIn profile should possess before it is even being viewed by the public. These are very important criteria in order for your LinkedIn to look attractive so that if you're reaching out to old friends, colleagues, or even new people, uh, that they would want to be looking further to learn a little bit more about you. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, I want you to have your names, but I don't like when people have way too many acronyms in front of them. Uh, first of all, it is a very uh, difficult and uh, and very distracting, uh, but also most people don't understand what those acronyms mean. So when you have CFP, CLA, CPWA, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it is very difficult for others to be able to even read your name. So I want you to keep only one, uh, which is the most important one you have, and if possible, spell it all out in order for people to understand what that acronym stands for. Remember, most people you're reaching out to are not in your industry, so that industry jargon does not make sense. Number two, I want you to have um, a nice profile picture and a nice background. Spend and invest if you have to in order to create uh, an image uh, and a picture of yourself that's very professional. I've seen a lot of advisors have pictures of themselves that are stretched out or they haven't been able to resize it. Uh, Make sure you have the right image uh, created. If you don't know how to resize it, reach out to us. Um, the third thing I want you to uh, do is to do this background image. Make sure it's something that speaks to you. Like for example, I love flowers, so I wanted to make sure that talks about me. Um, make sure you have something that's not monotone, not the typical LinkedIn background blue color that everyone has. You really want to stand apart from everyone else. You also want to talk about your summary and bullet points. So if you look at my LinkedIn profile, you'll see I have bullet points of what I do. So that's another way to make sure you're visually appealing to anyone who wants to quickly find out about you. Absolutely have your website to make sure people are leading to that and, and reading further about it. Uh, I also like to include up here media comments or, or inclusions of, of our firm in there. So if you've been mentioned or featured or written in some large industry publications, uh, if uh, allowed by your compliance, make sure you upload that onto your media. And finally, an area I want you to take a look at is here where it says uh, my network. Uh, this is a great tool using the very strong algorithms that LinkedIn has, which shows who uh, you may know. And this is where LinkedIn's algorithm really comes to help you um, because it shows that, hey, you have 55 common connections with this person, 47 common connections, or it might be someone you went to school with or college with. Um, LinkedIn will actually remind you. So that's a, another great tool. Finally, this area, notifications. I like to look at who's viewed my profile, take a look at who maybe just recently uh, got a new job or a new role, that's another area where I could look for uh, for new changes or people who have been intrigued in looking at my profile. Now, what do you do with this and how do you utilize this in order to get yourself new clients? That's the next chapter of this tutorial and if you're interested, please click at the link below uh, so you could download that video tutorial on how to use LinkedIn to actually get new clients for your financial advisory practice. If you need more information about us, we're at select-advisors.com. Thank you.